Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst David Madden. Today's video was shot on Wednesday the 13th of, of September uh, at 2.15pm and today's Chart of the Week is Gold. Uh, what we've seen here looking at the Chart of Gold, uh, broadly speaking uh, it's been pushing higher since late December last year. We will be taking a closer look at, at, at the chart in just one in just one moment, uh, but it is worth pointing out that on Friday last week the metal traded as traded at a 13-month high, given the heightened tensions about what could happen around North Korea and also global markets were braced for Hurricane Irma. Now that the we have seen a very much a risk-on attitude, some global equity markets have reached all-time highs, and we have seen a cooling in the price of gold. Notice how, we, even though we have seen a pullback in the price of gold, the wider upward trend that has been in place since December last year is very much in play. And also, taking a closer look at the daily chart, we can see that the kind of more stronger upward trend since July is very much in play. So I suspect we could see some buyers enter the fold given that we have seen a bit of a pullback in the price since last Friday. Notice how as the notice how for, for a bulk of the for the bulk for a good few months we have seen gold trade in between a range in between the high 1200s and the low 1200s. That was in play since April all the way until August and then in late August we finally broke north uh, of, of the psychologically important 1300 mark and pressed high nearly as high as 1360 of course before pulling back ever so slightly then so also it is worth pointing out notice how on the positive momentum indicator here as the price of gold was pushing higher that was also reflected in the positive positive momentum increasing we have seen a bit of a pullback in the price of gold and that is also reflected in the slight decline in positive momentum should we see prices move lower, we could see momentum swing to the negative side, but I suspect, seeing as we've been in, in, in quite a strong upward trend, particularly since July, uh, it is likely we could see some buyers enter the fold in, uh, should we see a continuation of this pullback. Levels to watch out for to the downside, should we see any pullback in the, further pullback in the price of gold, will be yesterday's low of 13.22, and then south of that, we be looking towards this price area here of 1305, 1300, and then below that again, uh, the previous resistance, which is now acting as, may act as support at 1296. And move to the upside for the price of gold will be Friday's high of 1358, and then looking beyond that, we be looking towards the July high of 2016 of 1375, and should we move beyond that again? Uh, the psychologically important 1400 level may then be brought into play. If you are trading gold, it is worth pointing out that next week, Wednesday and Wednesday the 20th of September, we do have an update from the Federal Reserve. We're not really expecting any change to the overall monetary policy in terms of interest rates, but we could hear uh, addition, we could hear updates in relation to what is going on and what the, the Fed plan to do in relation to the balance sheet reduction plan, which they have been talking about for some months. Thank you very much.